In this video, we are going to look at what the Microsoft Certified Azure AI Engineer Associate is all about. What does one learn in the course? What are the key benefits of doing this course? And what are the prerequisites for taking this exam? All this and more in the video. Stay tuned. First of all, this is an Associate Level Certification. This certification verifies that the candidates possess sound subject matter expertise to plan and manage Azure Cognitive Services solutions, implement computer vision solutions, implement natural language processing solutions, implement knowledge finding solutions, and implement conversational AI solutions. The certification will enable the candidates to handle responsibilities such as building, managing, and deploying AI solutions that leverages the Azure Cognitive Services, Azure Cognitive Search, and the Azure Bot Framework. So what are the benefits of having the certification? Firstly, it confirms your hold on Azure subjects. The AI 102 certification increases the credibility of your professional career. It gives you an associate level certification credential. The certification can also award you a great paycheck. And it also creates a pathway for you to access the Microsoft community. So what is the exam you will be required to take to earn the certification? The name of the exam is AI102 Designing and Implementing a Microsoft Azure AI Solution. Clearing this exam will earn you the Microsoft Certified Azure AI Engineer Associate Credential. The exam is designed to test the knowledge of the candidates about basic cloud skills and understanding of the Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services, Computer Vision Solutions, Natural Language Processing Solutions, Knowledge Mining Solutions, and Creating Conversational Solutions with Bots. Now, what are the prerequisites of giving this exam? It is recommended that the aspiring candidates should be familiar with either c -sharp or Python. They should be familiar with the Microsoft Azure platform. And they should have knowledge on using REST-based APIs and SDKs to build services before attempting the exam. Now, these are the recommendations. However, candidates who do not have experience in this area can also dive right in, learn through the course, and still succeed. Mm -hmm.